A log cabin is a small log house, especially a less finished or less architecturally sophisticated structure. Log cabins have an ancient history in Europe, and in America are often associated with first-generation home building by settlers. Construction with logs was described by Roman architect Vitruvius Pollio in his architectural treatise De Architectura. But there's something romantic and charming about the idea of a log cabin home. Dwellings were constructed by laying logs horizontally over top of each other and filling in the gaps with chips and mud. When decorating a log home, make sure that every room fits the aesthetic of the cabin. And rustic cabinetry featuring knot holes that match the peel log beams stretching across the ceiling. Historically log cabin construction has its roots in Scandinavia and Eastern Europe. Although their origin is uncertain, the first log structures were probably being built in Northern Europe by the Bronze Age, about 3500 BC. Whether your log cabin has soaring ceilings or is cozier in size, make sure that your furnishings give off the warmth and comfort necessary to complement the space. Log home decorations need to be comfortable and inviting to offset the rustic surroundings. Another idea for decorating a log home involves using furnishings that have a matching style. Sometimes the most effective styles are also the simplest. Log cabins often have similar exterior walls to their exteriors, which means they already have a lot going on in terms of style and interest. This bathroom design lets the wood walls take center stage, with a simple tub and vanity as the only decor. Not only does a good lighting fixture enhance the aesthetic appeal, but also sets the mood and ambience of the space. A medieval log cabin was considered movable property, a chattel house, as evidenced by the relocation of Espabi village in 1557, the buildings were simply disassembled, transported to a new location and reassembled. It was also common to replace individual logs damaged by dry rot as necessary. And hey, 
Even if your home isn't technically a cabin you can still get inspired to bring some of those cozy vibes into your home. Traditional cabin-style decor is all about keeping things as warm and cozy as possible. Low, glowing lights, lots of wooden textures and a warm color palette. Pick soft furnishings in deep oranges, mustards and work browns in there too. Greens can work really well also and add a pop of color amongst all those neutrals. I personally, I like the distress look better. A rocking chair there, a leather sofa here, if you are fully invested in the cabin decor trend, pick out key pieces of furniture that create that cozy feel. Just make sure they have longevity too and will work if your tastes change. Even if you don't have wood paneled walls, you can bring rustic vibes into your bedroom. Bedding, comforters, pillows, the more layers the better to make your space as cozy as possible. Stick to a neutral color scheme too if you want it to be on the Scandi side of cabin decor rather than the more traditional look. One of the things we love most about rustic bathrooms is they can be, well, rustic. You don't have to go overboard with accessories or decor to get the look you're going for, focus on simplicity and keep the look neutral. Exposed beams, natural wood, and vintage furniture are all you need to deliver this aesthetic. A super easy cabin decorating idea that you can bring into your home right now is to throw down some fur. Wherever you put faux fur, over the sofa, at the end of a bed, on the floor, it will instantly add warmth and texture to the space. Implement whatever sounds like a good idea. At the end of the day, coziness and comfort are personal, and they have a different meaning for every person.